been a beautiful young cow show this morning, and we want to acknowledge those exhibitors and their animals that did so very well to, in their classes. There were 15 fall yearlings in milk, and the winning entry was number 2693, Four Hills Advent Kaylee Red, exhibited by Elizabeth Hill of Bristol, Vermont. Second in that class was entry 2955, Fly Higher Special Relief Red, exhibited by Peter Vale and Fly Higher Holsteins of Salem, New York. There were 28 junior two-year-old cow cows exhibited in our largest cow class of the day. The winning entry was number 2728, KHW Regiment Apple Three Red, exhibited by West Coast Holsteins of Chilliwack, British Columbia. Second in that class was entry number 2727, DePasque Contender Whitney Red, exhibited by Milk Source Genetics of Kokana, Wisconsin. There were 16 senior two-year-olds. Winning entry was number 2740, Morsan Debonair Fiona Red, exhibited by Morsan Farms of Pinoca, Alberta. Second in that class was entry number 2756, Style SA Jumpin' for Joy Red, exhibited by Stephanie Aves of Poplar Grove, Illinois. There are 13 junior three-year-olds. 2785 was the winning entry. Sharona Hill I KKA Red Clover, exhibited by West Coast Holsteins of Chilliwack, British Columbia. Second in that class was entry number 2779, Sweet Peas Felicity Red, exhibited by Lloyd and Denise Pease of Susquehanna, Pennsylvania. There were 23 senior three-year-old cows exhibited. The winning entry was number 2797, Sildal Amazing Red, exhibited by Jean Yeager, Oscar Eric Dupasque, and Craig Walton of Plain Pleasant View, Ohio. Second in that class was entry 2796, Oakvale Advent Cinnabar Red, exhibited by Milk Source Genetics of Kakana, Wisconsin. I think it's been a marvelous young cow show this morning. Let's give these exhibitors and their animals a big round of applause. Appreciate their efforts today. Back in the Grand International Red and White show ring, appears our judges have pulled out their finalists for the intermediate champion of our show this morning. Judge Little, when you're ready, I'm sure the crowd's very interested in your final decision. What a tremendous uh, young cow show this morning. Uh, just extreme quality. Uh, we're very fortunate that uh, we could find the type of animals right from the first class on that, that we really like the flat bone, beautiful mammary system, long neck, and uh, just tremendous quality all the way through and uh, ter tremendous, uh, tremendous show this morning. Uh, maybe before we do anything, we should uh, show a round of applause for the quality the exhibitors did show this morning. And I pulled these three out for intermediate champion. I think that excel in their frames. They got the long dairy frame, a beautiful flat bone. They got the beautiful long neck. You view them from the front, they're angular and the beautiful, youthful mammary systems. They got mammary systems that uh, look like they're gonna be around for a long time. Uh, I'm gonna go out and just congratulate the intermediate champion and then the reserve and honorable mention, and I'll give you reasons when I come back. For an immediate champion, I, I like this junior too. I love the, the, the dariness she possesses, and I think the advantage for her over the, the three-year-old is her teat placement. I think all four teats are just placed a little more squarely under the mammary system today than the, than the three-year-old. Just a beautiful, beautiful frame, junior three there, the extreme frame. I'd just like to see the teats just underneath the mammary to get above this junior two for intermediate champion. And then the junior three just uses her advantage in length. She's longer up through the head and neck, a little longer through the body than our senior two, just a, but a well-balanced heifer as well. So congratulations to all the exhibitors this morning.